Austru, Austru, dragă trăguță, Mi-ai cerut ciora cu panglicuță, Și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea, și-ai mai vrea la tale, Să-ți cumpere neica și sandale. We're going to continue with the tragic and unbelievable stories of the Bulgarian Jewry and what happened there, the real truth from uh, an authentic source, Rabbi Asa. Thank you, David. Uh, you mentioned the citizenship or the passport uh, business at the end of our uh, last conversation. I would like to focus for a moment on that subject. Most of us don't realize that our country, whatever country it is, is giving us a protection or some kind of identity simply by showing the passport that is being given to us at birth or by naturalization. I cherished very much my U.S. citizenship and I'm very proud to have an American passport. Me too. <laughs> I'm glad that you are an American also. But in during the Second World War, when Hitler gave Trace and Macedonia, Trace was Yugoslav uh, Trace was Greek and Yugoslavia was Ma Macedonia was part of Yugoslavia. Excuse me. Right. Macedonia was part of Yugoslavia and Trace was part of Greece. Right. And when Hitler conquered those countries, the bounty that King Boris was expecting from Hitler uh, came to be true. Those territories, which were originally, supposedly, Bulgarian territories, were now given back to Bulgaria. So what they had lost in the Balkan Wars and in the First World World War was now given back to Bulgaria. So it was Greater Bulgaria. Greater, oh, by, by the way, also Dobruja, which is taken from your country, uh, Romania. David, from Romania, was given back to uh, Bulgaria. Whether it was justifiable or not is not the question, but it was given back. Right. And to this day, these territories, the, the populations there speak, are bilingual, always on the border. And I traveled many times and I was amazed and surprised how on the Bulgarian side they spoke Romania, on the Romanian side of Dobroja they spoke uh, Romanian. Uh, uh, Bulgarian, uh, Bulgarian. And, and so on and so forth. Please continue. So, the Jews of those newly acquired annexed territories given back to Bulgaria did not have citizenship. And this is the issue again of the passport that you carry. If you don't have a passport, you are nothing. When a war comes out, you're zero. Exactly that's what happened to our Jews in Trace in Macedonia. Now, How many Jews uh, were in that, the those we're talking, two regions? Uh, we're talking about 10, 11,400, 11,600. Mm -hmm. And those Jews were loaded on the trains on uh, March 9th or 10th, whatever it was, 43. 43, and taken straight to Treblinka, which is amazing because if you ever know the Greek Jews, they were from Saloniki, all of them were the workers in the harbor. Saloniki was a very important uh, 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 port. Thessaloniki. 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 T-S-E, but in Bulgaria we call it Saloniki, Sal but it's Thessaloniki. And those stiff doors, or whatever the name is, were really strong, powerful. They could have been used by Hitler or by the SS to build roads or to whatever work to do. Uh, and the women too were very tough women, and yet they went straight to Treblinka. So let me say a word about the different camps. If you had a choice between Auschwitz and Treblinka, or Auschwitz and, and, and Majdanek, or Birkenau, or, yeah, you take 
Auschwitz because Auschwitz was work camp until you became initiated or the word was Musulman and by the way it comes from the Arabic Musulman people that are almost skin like and bones skin and bones initiated. ready ready to to, to, to die, die. Yeah. and took about four months for even a healthy person to become skin and bones to disintegrate. and then straight to the gas chambers. In other words, if the Jews of Trace and Macedonia would have been sent to uh, Auschwitz to work in the factories, and everybody had a factory in Auschwitz, Siemens had a factory in Auschwitz, uh, 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 Farben, IG Farben, the chemical, had a uh, factory, even even the aircraft builders, uh, German companies, had a factory, they manufactured the air, airplane parts and all they that. Might and all that. They, they might have been saved. They might have been saved because they were strong people. Right. But Treblinka but had no But if you go to Treblinka, it's about seven hours between unloading and the actual gas chamber. On a slow day, it could be only in one hour because there was no... There Slow was no, as in not a yeah, lot of people. Right. So I've been to Treblinka twice. I visited... Uh, there's nothing in Treblinka left. Just, just vertical stones planted into the ground. And each stone tells country and city. City and country. And it gives the numbers. By the way, there is a stone in Treblinka which is painful to me. It says uh, the city of, let's say, Kavala in Macedonia, uh, Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, the numbers are being attributed, attributed to, Bulgaria. to Bulgaria rather than to Greece or Yugoslavia. Right, because they are and under the under right. Bulgaria, the greater Bulgaria of right. the time, but they, but didn't, they didn't have the citizenship, right. Bulgarian citizenship. And this is this is a segue, nice segue to to the plaques in Yad Vashem in uh, Jerusalem, to the U.S. Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C., to the uh, Wiesenthal in, in West Los Angeles, where Bulgaria is listed for 11,000, 11,400, whatever. Or Jews that have perished. Jews that have perished. Right. Now, so. Without the mention. You see all the countries, like right. uh, Poland is always at the, at the, at the head. Highest, yeah. You know, uh, Poland 2.7, uh, 2.8, uh, whatever it is. And then uh, Bulgaria is almost to the end, but uh, it is 11,000. And Bulgaria is mentioned on those lists. I've been trying for years to prove the opposite, that no Bulgarian Jew was ever resettled or exterminated during the Reich uh, uh, Nazi Holocaust era. And it's no help, because the politics of the Holocaust dictate that country, I mean, Let's take Denmark. Denmark only had 8,000, 9,000 Jews. But the, the fishermen or the boat owners of Denmark saved some of the Jews by taking them across the channel to Sweden. And most of them survived, some of them perished. Denmark is listed as probably the, the least Jews sacrificed to the Nazis, but it is countries like Bulgaria, countries like Denmark, that must be, in other words, as we teach the history of the Shoah, of the, of the suffering, we also should be teaching the story of the saving, of the grace, of the salvation that had come to people like the Bulgarian Jews or the Jews of of uh, Denmark. Well, 
uh, we're going to listen more about this uh, incredible uh, story and uh, in our next segment and as a reference to what happened in Bulgaria, the importance of citizenship. Also in Romania, uh, they were able to save a lot of Jews at a particular time during the war by having labor camps in Romania for the Romanian Jewry and my father was in one of those camps. But we'll talk about this and other very interesting things in our next story. And thank you again, Rabbi Asa. My pleasure. Shabbat shalom. Shalom. <laughs> Shot cum nu sparale, sex cum pe sandale, buzunarele sunt goale ba. Mai apoi trecuță, încă o băncuță și pe uii în colitruț.